Hello everyone, my name is Confidence and it's great to have you back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the audio recorder widget and I'm going to show you some ways in which you can configure it to get the most use out of it. Uh, the audio recorder widget is a really exciting widget because it's the first in its category. It allows you to take in audio input versus the text input you would normally take um, while using the input widget or the select widget. So it's the first in its kind and definitely we'll see more of these widgets come up. So to get started, I am going to head over to the widget section and let's drag a new audio recorder widget into the canvas. And there we have an audio recorder widget. The first thing I'd like us to take a look at here are the properties that can be configured on the audio recorder widget. So taking a look at the property pane, the first property we have is to set the background color of the widget. And we can use this to style the widget a bit to fit our brand theme or to generally fit the kind of app theme that we're going for in the specific application that we're building. So we can set this to something like blue. And here we have a blue um, background on the audio recorder. We can also set an icon color. And let's just set this to black. And you see that we have a black icon on the recorder. We also have some other properties to control the state of the audio recorder. We can make this disabled by toggling the switch on or off. We can also set this to be visible by toggling this on or off. And for each of these two properties, which is the disabled state and the visible state, we can go into JavaScript to write some logic to set these properties to be on or off, depending on when we want them to be. Moving on to the actions, we can hook into the lifecycle of the audio recorder widget to do some really nice things. Uh, the first event that we can listen for is the on recording start. And this action will be triggered whenever the recording starts. So we can choose to um, do any of these actions we have, the predefined actions we have. Or similarly, we can go to write some JavaScript to perform a more complicated logic whenever the user starts recording something using the audio recorder widget. So the second um, event we have is the on recording complete. And this event is going to be called when the user clicks on the stop button. So the user is done recording. This event is going to be triggered whenever um, the user is true with recording and clicks on the stop button. And this can be really useful to download the file that has just been recorded or probably upload it to an S3 bucket and process it later on. So this event, uh, with this event, you have access to um, call an action whenever the recording stops. And we have any of these predefined actions. We also have a download um, action. Or you can go into JavaScript similarly to write some custom logic. I'd like to show you some of the properties that are available on the audio recorder widget. And to do that, I would need to bring in a text widget. So I'm just going to bring in a text widget and place it right there. And here where it says label, I'm going to access the audio recorder. And uh, taking a look at the evaluated value pane, you see that we have a lot of properties that we can actually access. So this gives you an idea of the kind of information we can glean from the audio recorder widget. But what we are more interested in here is to be able to access the file that has just been recorded. So to do that, you can type audio recorder one, which is the name of the widget, then dot URL. And there you would have access to the URL of the recorded file. So let's go ahead to record something. I'm just going to click on the audio recorder icon. And right now we are recording some audio. Uh, let's record up to five seconds and I can stop this. And here you see we have access to the URL of the file that has just been recorded. So uh, I can take a look at this by copying this URL, opening it up in a new window. And here we have access to the file that has been recorded. So this is really useful if you want to download the file to the user's device or upload it to a storage service where you can later process this um, recorded file. All right. All right, so this has been the audio recorder widget. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.